little video, um, I noticed this plate slide, slid, slid off, so it slides off, slide back on. It makes sense now to see the speed. So this isn't like a, a wiper with a variable potentiometer. They're coil resistors, I'm guessing. So each coil is a resistance, and you're just switching over to a different resistance. Uh, I guess individual or combined? I have to look at this a little more. And it looks like when you go all the way over, you're past, past that last wiper and um, all the way floored, you know, it should be full power, I guess. Uh, you miss it. So, a little bend or what. But it looks like those surfaces can be cleaned. So, I'll clean those and I don't know if a little bend might not hurt to keep that uh, better contact with the surface. I wanted to show that. Um, next up, I'll try to get into the motor, clean that up. Okay, looks like this paused and this is continuing. Okay, Nino. So, what do we have here? A. Waiting. My lighting just kind of went dim. Let's see. <laughs> Can I get that better? There we go. I think that got everything on the label. Um, to remove that uh, cover, there's two screws on the, oops, I pointed the wrong location up top. So right here. And then one had to come off on the side. It's right here, and then there's two on the bottom, and to get to the bottom ones, you need to oh, let's see. flip this over and access those one and two. Uh, there's another cover on the side screw, this long run, I don't think that needed to be removed, and then to get this whole side part off, I'll have to take, I think, this off, and that whole mechanism will come off. But, um, anyway, I wanted to see what uh, the oiling holes were like back here. And this is a one or two or one? It's a one. So there's one little oiling hole right there. And the good thing is, is this motor can be disassembled and cleaned. I can check to see if it's been like Andy Tube, I think it's called, YouTube. He's got a good video on it. The motor's been wet or the motor's been over-oiled. Um, so mainly you just want to get these, oh, uh, like a bearing or a bushing, I'm guessing, around the ends oiled. The rest doesn't really need to be. And then there's commentators where the brushes are. Uh, let's see, I think that's what this hole is. And I don't feel, oh yeah, there's one under here too. There's another, um, uh, uh, access point for, I'm pretty sure those are for the brushes. So I could maybe disassemble while all, um, assembled. But I think I'm going to try to take um, the next step being remove this and get a little more disassembled so I can access that motor and really completely disassemble and clean apart, uh, clean apart, disassemble <laughs> and clean and uh, put back together. So I, this, this is probably isn't going to be a parts machine. This will be an interesting uh, restore. Um, I guess we'll be... Once I'm confident the operation's running smoothly, um, this would be just this selector. I don't really understand tensioning. Um, I get the the thread wound bobbin, another bobbin or that bobbin. There's already one bobbin. Bobbin wound. Make sure that's going to be the main thing. Bobbin bobbin winds okay. And it does seem to un. You, you basically uh, counterclockwise rotate, and you can run machine. I don't think I videotaped that. Um, for just winding the bobbin and uh, this foot press I got that run a little smoother so you have the different tension uh, something like that on the down on the, to the foot um, yeah it'll be interesting mainly to see how the stitching operation performs with tensioning too much too little so get that just right uh, making sure the bobbin's working okay threads catching right and, um, yeah, the aesthetic. So I think this tray is plastic line. This can probably all be removed. 
probably can actually upgrade all this to be a grounded system because it's not a grounded system now. Um, that might not be a bad idea too. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, wiring, I didn't notice just going through the wiring where there's any cuts or frays. Um, I don't really know what year this is, 60s, 50s, 60s, I'm guessing 60s. And um, yeah, uh, I don't know, seems to be holding up better than I expected. But this, oh, actually, after inspecting a little more, I'll see it in the video. There's a crack, somebody looks like they had glued uh, off of the factory or later on. Um, the foot pedal, um, but uh, that can be seen in the uh, prior parts. I'm getting to like six minutes, so I don't like long run out video. I'll go ahead and pause it. Just want to note the side plate. You kind of have to have the machine up a little higher, and it'll kind of work its way out, so I didn't have to remove that handle. Um, looks pretty good, though. Looks really good on this side. Gonna clean up a little more and um, yeah, pause it again.